Welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trish and I have spun some self-striping Valentine themed yarn from the Paradise Fiber sock blend that came in the February box. I'm really excited about it. I love how it turned out and I'm going to show you how I did it. my dies first of course behind me in that pink big uh, bowl is the roving all soaking I'm sorry it's not roving its top and this is the paradise fibers targi bamboo silk blend that is soaking all the dye I used was at a very low concentration and it was the Dharma trading company acid dyes I really do like these and I have a million colors of them so um, they're just so easy to pick from the gray is true black. It is actually a pretty true gray, which is awesome because it's hard to find. The pink is uh, amethyst with a kind of a few spots of very light concentration cayenne red, which makes it orange. I just wanted to give it a little bit more depth than just like a flat pink. And then the purple is royal purple with a little bit of the amethyst. Again, I just was trying to add some kind of like color depth. And I chose to dye these in three separate little bundles because I wanted to make a self-striping yarn, but I wanted it to be a true self-striping, not like a color shift, which is also cool, which is not what I was going for in this case. I'm wondering about my ragtag containers there. When I finished burning a candle, I started keeping the glass container just for mixing dye in. I figured they're meant for heat. And then I don't like make anything that's glass that you know we want might want to drink out of again unusable. So those are empty candle containers and a candle soup mug that I've been dying in for like 10 years. <laughs> This sock yarn was inspired by Valentine's Day, and we don't really celebrate Valentine's Day, but I'm feeling the love this year, I have to say. Um, we just kind of feel like, 
you shouldn't wait for one day a year to show your loved ones that you love them and also that it's gotten kind of competitive almost. That doesn't stop me from being inspired by all the colors, all the pinks and purples, which I love. So that's where I went with this yarn. I'm also going to microwave it. I do about three minutes and then I let it cool for about half an hour and do three more minutes. That seems to really do the trick. day and everything is dry I am just gonna plan out the stripe right now the color changes and then I actually went ahead and split each piece so that I could make two matching skeins however I didn't end up going with this plan I used the hat first half the way it was and then I went ahead and spun the second half just in three totally separate yarns I just started to think about how if they didn't come out even but they were shifted just a little bit that was gonna annoy me so I figured I could make the second sock exactly match the first sock that way um, I was gonna be brave and then I wasn't so hey it happens right
Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you get all the love you want 365 days a year. And thanks for watching.